Well, here's something I thought I'd never say on the Tacoma Holic channel. I'm getting ready to install a spacer lift. Hear me out. Geez, relax everybody, I'm going to be installing a seat spacer lift, not a spacer lift for my suspension. What's going on everybody and welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel. So it came to my attention that there are a lot of people who are less than enthusiastic about the comfort of their second gen seats and you know when you buy a Tacoma you don't really buy it for the comfort but I suppose the seats here are a little archaic obviously they're not even power very minimal on what you can and can't adjust well I guess minimal on what you can adjust uh, maximum on things that are not adjustable so I stumbled across these things from four crawler off-road I will put a link down below if you are interested in these these are just exactly what it sounds like they are one inch spacers when you buy these they come as a pair and most people put them on the rear part of the seat to lift it up and just give you a better position I guess in general they do make other kinds in different measurements but it seems like by far the one inch size is the way to go so I'm gonna do a quick install I don't really complain about you know it doesn't really the the seat position doesn't feel too bad to me but I suppose everything could be better so I guess I'll be a guinea pig test these things out and let you know what I think. Install is super easy. As you can see here, this is what comes with it. You get two spacers, a washer, and two bolts. All you need after that is a 916 spit and a socket wrench. And install should just take a few minutes. Okay, so first step for the install, even though I'm gonna put my one inch spacers in the back of the seat to lift my rear end just a little bit, it is recommended you go ahead and loosen the two bolts up front just so you have a little wiggle room to get the spacer under there. So slide the chair all the way back. Get my bit and go ahead and loosen these. I'm not gonna actually take them off just to the point where they're extremely loose. That one's good. It's already a, uh, let's see how much I can wiggle it. In, uh, if I can avoid taking them out completely, I will. If not, I'll just do what I need to do. I will not be unplugging anything underneath uh, because nothing, none, none of that stuff should be in danger of getting pinched or anything, so. Okay, I think that should be good enough. So now I'm just gonna slide the whole seat forward. Now in the back with the seat slid all the way forward so I have as much room to work as possible. I need to get my WeatherTech one piece floor mat out of the way real quick and with that out of the way I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera obviously I need to do a little vacuuming so the next step you have these two rubber covers for the bolts holding the back of the seat they slide right off just pop them up with your fingers I guess if they're on there really tight for some reason you could use some kind of small plastic pry bar to get those off but you can see they pop right off so there is the next bolt I'm gonna completely remove and then the one on the other side right there Okay, got both the rear bolts removed and just as a quick comparison here is the factory bolt and washer I removed and here's what I'm replacing it with obviously one inch longer to accommodate for the length of the spacer And then since it's all loose, I'm just going to take the spacer lift this up and slide it under See how hard it is to get the hole lined up here with the top part And to tighten down the new bolt, you will need an 11 16 bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this one, not completely tight, but just tight enough so it's not gonna move around on me. And then I'll do the other side. Finish that up, put the covers back on, and give it a test drive. And there are the spacers installed, fully tightened down. Get the caps installed on top of them. And of course, there is a one inch space underneath those, but I don't think that's really gonna bother me too much. And actually, when I put my WeatherTech back on, with the protective caps on those things, it sort of bumped up a little bit more, so I did go ahead and take those off. And obviously, the fitment's not perfect on this side anymore. Bumped up just a little bit. I don't think it's something that's gonna bother me, but if, uh, if you're sort of paranoid about that stuff, just keep that in mind. And please do not forget to retighten the front two bolts on here. There's only four bolts holding this whole chair down, which is keeping you safe when you're driving around, so don't forget to tighten down two of them. And of course, the only prudent thing to do now is to give it a test drive and see how it feels. Hoo! 
All right, everyone, so I've driven a few miles with the one inch seat spacers installed, and I gotta say, I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, it's just one inch, but it feels like more. I definitely, it definitely feels like, to me at least, a more natural seating position. And I can only imagine, like, if you're a taller guy, I mean, I mean I'm 5'6 and 31, 30 seconds, so we'll just call that 5'7. And it definitely feels, I feel a lot higher, even though it's just one inch. It feels like a couple inches to me. It actually feels like the way I'm looking at everything, it feels like my truck is riding higher, which, of course, is just a, like, you know, the placebo for my mind uh, that I'm actually sitting higher. But like I mentioned, it does feel like a more natural seating position. It feels a little more comfortable. And again, I'm not one that was really complaining about the ride quality too much anyway. I know the seats in a Tacoma aren't going to be like Cadillac seats or anything like that, but if you are one of the ones who does sort of complain about the Tacoma ride quality with the seats, uh, this might be something you want to check out, so look into that. All right, everyone, that will do it for this video. Don't forget to check out the website for Crawler Off-Road. I will put a link down in the description below. If you are interested in trying out this quick, easy mod yourself, I know spaces aren't usually the first option when you're trying to lift your seat. It's proper to go extended travel icon or king coilovers or something to that effect. But I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with these spaces if you decide to try them out. So please comment below if you do that. If this is your first time stopping by, please consider subscribing if you love everything related to Tacomas. Give the video a like and help me grow the channel by sharing it with your friends and family on social media. Enjoy the rest of your week and I will see you in the next video.